Let's come down to brass tacks. Uh, has he walked away with enough? Well, I think, um, uh, you know, the summit statement basically is a very broad brush statement with general commitments. The significance of the meeting perhaps lies in the fact that this is the first time a U.S. president is meeting a North Korean leader. And the fact that President Trump has really adopted a more flexible approach rather than insisting on upfront um, you know, achievements with regard to dismantlement of North Korea's nuclear program before a summit meeting, he agreed to a summit meeting to kickstart. So uh, in a sense, it's a different approach from the approach the U.S. has followed in the past. Will it actually yield the desired results? I think we have to wait and see because these commitments are very general. There is no clear sense of what both sides mean when they talk of denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Does it include U.S. forces and nuclear weapons in South Korea and the U.S. extended nuclear deterrence provided to South Korea? If so, then this will be seen as another signal of the U.S. walking away from Asia. You know, they first pulled out of the TPP. Now, if they actually walk away from extended deterrence to their allies in Asia, vis-a-vis um, -vis both China and North Korea, uh, then uh, I think there's a question mark about what the future role of the U.S. in Asia will be. Um, on the other hand, is it only dismantlement of North Korea's nuclear weapons? Is that the understanding? I think that is something which has to unfold over the coming days as follow-on negotiations are held. Um, also, uh, you know, what are the security guarantees that the U.S. will offer to North Korea? Because President Trump in his press conference has talked of also uh, already suspending U.S.-South Korea exercises, he called them provocative war games, and said that he would like to see the withdrawal of uh, U.S. troops from South Korea. So I think this caught the South Koreans a bit off guard because it didn't appear to have been discussed with them sure. in advance. Um, so I think it's very much it's historic in the sense of being the first meeting between a North Korean leader and U.S. president. What it will actually achieve remains to be seen because it's a very broad brush joint statement and details have still to be worked out.